Hunters have been a key part of wildlife management in Alberta for many years. At present, there are more than 120,000 hunters who can provide valuable information on the movements and populations of big game animals. This information can assist biologists and wildlife managers in making informed decisions regarding wildlife management. We have been busy over the last few years developing a new voluntary feature within the iHunter Alberta smartphone app. And that allows hunters, outfitters, Métis harvesters, and recreationists to, to submit observations of harvestable wildlife in Alberta. And that can ultimately be used to supplement the data that is available for wildlife management. As an experienced hunter, Dan Sturgis views this tool as a means for all hunters to contribute information to the management of big game wildlife, which is the mandate of the provincial government. Definitely. I think there's been some, you know, I mean, I'm a hunter, have been forever, it seems. And there's always been a bit of, I don't know if complaint is too strong of a word, but, but you know, a concern that hunters weren't really, didn't have a conduit to get that information to the government in, in a way that made sense, right? It was very piecemeal if it ever did come to government. So this is kind of a more rigorous approach, I guess you'd say, at, at trying to get that information to them and then using that information to, to benefit hunters in the long run for keeping your your population numbers at, at a good rate to allow hunting for, you know, in perpetuity, basically. Let's address a common concern. Will Alberta Hunt Log monitor your movements or reveal your hunting spots? So we have been working hard to create trust in the hunting community and the way we're doing that is by making sure that the data is confidential and secure. We are not collecting any names. Actually everyone who participates in Alberta Hunt Log, there's no name in the database that's spit out on the other side. Everyone is assigned a random string of 16 digits. So uh, we don't know who you are and we don't collect any location information. Everything is done on a wildlife management unit level because that's how we manage wildlife populations in Alberta. If you are still concerned, um, even knowing that we don't see any names and don't see any locations, that's, um, if you're still concerned, you can toggle, toggle off the GPS. What that does is it, it gives users the choice to manually enter their, um, their kilometers traveled and hours out in the wildlife management unit that they're in that day. And then instead of having Alberta Hunt Log calculate that in the background, because really that's all we want from, from G the GPS data. We, we just are calculating your hours out in the wildlife management unit and, and your kilometers traveled. And then that can be used um, for metrics like number of moose observed per hour, because we need to scale it somehow, um, how many, in terms of the effort that was put in to see that many moose. For a program like this to work, a number of organizations had to uh, come together, including the Alberta Conservation Association, iHunter, the University of Alberta, and the Métis Nation of Alberta. I caught up with Jack Curry, a biologist with the Métis Nations, about why they're involved in this program. Yeah, well, Métis have always been stewards of the land, and this was an opportunity for hunters to tell us what they're seeing while they're out there. Um, we hear from our harvesters all the time that they're seeing changes in the land, changes in wildlife populations. And this was an opportunity for people to tell us directly, what are you seeing? Where are you seeing it? And what are you noticing? And it was really important for us to find an opportunity to connect directly with our citizens. Um, we're in the early stages of developing our harvesting uh, reporting systems, and this was a great way to get started. The Alberta Hunt Log Dashboard is a powerful tool for harvest reporting. It's now upgraded with new features to make Alberta hunters even happier. It seems like at the end of the year, uh, all these little trips add up and you kind of forget you know, the specifics of where you've been, what you've done, what you've seen. So at if you go to Alberta Hunt Log, it basically will track that for you. So you remember that day, you put it in there really quickly after you've done your day, and then it it just compiles it for you at the end. So it really makes a nice summary for you for that year, for that hunting season. Observations can be submitted year round, not just during the hunting season. This allows for a comprehensive collection of data. 
We would love for people to be contributing data for anything on the, the list of species in the survey. The more data we get, the better, um, because that provides more information for um, that's available for managing wildlife populations, harvestable wildlife populations in Alberta. This is one of the reasons why the Alberta hunt log is such a good fit for the MNA. Yeah, it really is. And we know that uh, Métis harvesters are out throughout the year. Um, whether that's in the summer doing berry picking, in the fall for duck hunting and big game hunting, or in the uh, or in the winter when they're doing trapping, we know that people are out on the land year round, and so the opportunity to be able to report uh, throughout the year with the recreation option, the scouting option, and the hunting option has really been fantastic. So if you'd like more information about the Alberta hunt log, I would strongly encourage you to go and check out the Alberta Conservation Association website. I'll put the uh, link down below. And in the meantime, next time you head out, please consider using this. I think it, uh, it's going to benefit all Albertans, both those that hunt and those that just like to recreate in the backcountry. Till next time, everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. <laughs>